Welcome to Finding Frankie, where parkour fun is twisted into an evil contest. Finding Frankie invites you to participate in Frankie's terrifyingly twisted parkour game show. However, things might not be as friendly as they seem. This game's official trailer just released, and it looks incredible. We can expect Finding Frankie sometime this year in 2024, yet there is no official month or day, so probably sometime around the end of the year. Now, what is this game about? A few lucky people from around the world have been brought to Frankie's Parkour Palace, the world's largest indoor trampoline parkour and water park. We will have discovered one of the three secret invitations concealed within a box of Frankie branded cereal. Once we arrive, we will need to suit up in a provided Frankie suit and mask. This mask will hide our voice and identity to avoid cheating with the other contestants. Therefore, nobody will know who we are. We will accept the challenge of competing against two other contestants in what initially appears to be a delightful parkour show. However, the game show will take an unexpected deadly turn. Not only are we competing to win, but we are competing to survive. We will meet a handful of different characters including Frankie, Henry Hotline, and others that will deviate from their friendly cartoon personas, revealing a more lifelike and sinister identity. As we make our way through the intricate and challenging parkour levels, we must strive to emerge victorious while we and our fellow contestants are eliminated one by one. A horror parkour game is something I don't think we have ever seen before. There are other games like Dying Light that implement parkour into the gameplay, but I don't think it will compare to what Finding Frankie is offering. This game will test our limits to see if we can compete under pressure while maneuvering obstacles and quite literally running for our lives. This brings being chased to a whole new level. The game will offer a variety of parkour mechanics, including bar swinging, wall jumping, rail grinding, trampoline hopping, and even more. So I don't think we will be attacking any of the enemies, only running and parkouring away. We will utilize these mechanics while exploring the expansive Frankie Parkour Palace, ranging from indoor trampoline parks to intricate obstacle courses, even navigating through tighter spaces like ventilation shafts and dark labyrinth tunnels that snake beneath the building. So I think it's safe to say that this location is going to be massive and incredible incredibly intricate, which makes me wonder how long the game will actually be. Well, thanks to the Finding Frankie team in their Discord server, they chimed in and said it would be about an hour to two hours long, which is perfect for an indie horror game. So who are these characters that will be terrorizing us throughout the game? Well, like I mentioned before, we already know about a few of them, both good and bad. One that we know will be helping us is Deputy Duck. During moments when we are not engaging in swinging or wall jumping, we will have the companionship of a versatile friend on our journey. Deputy Duck is a handheld device that will provide us with many different tools, including our objective, flashing lights, and even a scanning radar, which means he is going to be very important. Having a scanning radar is very interesting. This means that some of these monsters might be hiding in the shadows. Now, one of the enemies we will be running from is Henry Hotline. He is described as sassy, sarcastic, and charming. Henry looks to be an evil phone monster. His head is that of an older toy phone, also having a sort of painted on mouth. Therefore, I don't think we will have to worry about him eating us. Although the rest of his body is human-like, having two arms, hands, and two legs. You'll also notice that he wears a red suit and has a black bow tie. Other than his appearance, we don't know much about him yet or why he turned evil. Although a much more terrifying monster is Frankie. He is a massive spring magician bunny rabbit. We know this from one of the boxes that he jumps out of. He wears a black top hat with playing cards stuck to it, something magicians often do. He also wears a red bow tie and can stretch his body parts to long distances. His most notable features are his evil smile and his long sharp teeth. Frankie is described as the confident, bold, and daring one of the group. He is the face of this massive park, therefore he is most likely going to be the main villain of the game. However, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another sinister force at play here, but we'll come back to that. Now, to get a better understanding of Finding Frankie, we need to take a look at some of the most important shots in the new trailer because it actually gives us a bunch of details about the game. The trailer opens with us bouncing around an obstacle course. However, it soon changes to show the aftermath of a gruesome massacre in the same location. This is an ongoing theme throughout the trailer, which quickly establishes just how horrific this game is going to be, even having the past contestants hung up. The trailer continues with showing us a a few 
few different obstacle courses throughout the facility. We then see a cartoon of Frankie on an older TV as the audio explains that four lucky people from around the world have been brought here to Frankie's parkour palace. Next, we find ourselves walking through a hallway. We see three posters of the crew, which include Henry Hotline, Frankie, and Deputy Duck. These are the cartoon counterparts of the evil versions that we will be running into. This cartoon is something I think we will see before coming to Frankie's Parkour Palace. The trailer then shows us in our apartment. It is clearly shown to be a depressing place with a mess everywhere, which is a heavy contrast to Frankie's Parkour Palace. Our apartment is dark and gloomy while the palace is vibrant and bright. What's most important here though is the cereal box, Frankie's Fruit Flakes. This cereal box is where we are going to find the secret invitation that will include a tape. I believe this tape is the same cartoon we saw at the beginning of the trailer. This will give us the location and the details about the park. The trailer then shows us picking up the suit and mask that I had mentioned from before. Like I said, this costume is going to hide our identity from the other contestants to prevent cheating. However, I don't think it's that simple. I believe this is actually just to hide the fact that these are other humans, to make all of this feel more like a game and the deaths feel less impactful. Considering this is a game show, this would make sense. Another important detail to point out in this shot is the text on the wall. It basically says that if we take the suit off, we will be immediately disqualified. The final contestant to find Frankie will receive an award. So I wonder what this award could be. Maybe it's our freedom. Directly after we put the suit on, we see another contestant. So clearly we will be with other players during parts of this game. Does this mean multiplayer? Not exactly. This will be a single player game. The Finding Frankie team confirmed this on their Discord server, that these other players are in fact NPCs, so don't get your hopes up for multiplayer. Although if they do make another game, multiplayer would probably be an option. Next, we get a bunch of shots showing off the park and the gruesome aftermath of the other contestants, including this shot of a huge vertical obstacle course. This shows off the incredible size of the location. The audio also mentions how there are over three stories of action-packed obstacles obstacle courses. I still can't get over how massive this location is going to be. Next, we get a terrifying scene of Frankie chasing us as we jump over a railing. During this, the audio explains how the other contestants mysteriously die, and he's not sure how that happened, meaning we will be the last one alive trying to survive this game show. Shortly after, we see ourselves getting chased by Henry inside of a tunnel, but what's important here is that we apparently drop Deputy Duck, so this could mean that we actually lose this tour at some point and have to navigate through the location without any help. So this makes me wonder if this shot is from the end of the game. What's also interesting is that in the next scene, we see Henry again. However, he is backing away from us. So either this is in reverse or he might not be as evil as he seems. The trailer then shows CCTV footage of a player. The monitor has text reading player one view as the audio mentions how one contestant is still on the premise and alive. He is clearly talking talking about us. Then we see someone press a green button, so clearly we are being broadcasted. I mean, that's obvious considering this is a game show, but there might be someone behind the scenes that's pulling all of the strings. Next, we get a bunch more shots of the location, showing off its extremely large scale. One obstacle course that I want to point out is this one that includes saws on both sides, which means that these obstacle courses could get deadlier and deadlier as we progress. One of the final shots from the trailer is of Frankie in an air vent. As we are climbing up a ladder, Frankie sticks his head through and drops an arm, showing us how nowhere is safe. Also, if you look closely, you can see some kind of hole inside of Frankie's mouth. This could mean that there is a tube that goes from his mouth through his springs into his body, which could explain how he's able to actually eat the contestants, as I've seen some people confused about this. So what happened here? Well, the devs confirmed a few things. There were no experiments or human deaths involved in what caused this parkour palace to turn evil. Therefore, the evil characters are not being haunted by anyone. So maybe someone is bringing the contestants here to kill them off for some reason. And these characters are just programmed to do what they're doing. I think that there is a lot more here than meets the eye, so I'm not too sure, but I'll let you guys decide. How do you feel about Finding Frankie? Does it interest you? I think it looks incredible, and I'm super excited to experience it. If if done correctly, parkour horror will be amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like horror game content like this, 
please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to support the channel even more, you can become a member. Don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifyT. Thanks for watching.